Hey, this is Taylor. Thank you for checking out my senior project. My senior project was a 3D walkthrough at Douglas High School. New students can use it to find classrooms and to get an idea of the layout of the building. The project itself is about 10,000 lines long. The school is made up of about a thousand different three-dimensional objects and there's about 250 separate textures that make up the school, such as the bricks, the concrete, ceiling tiles, fire extinguishers, fire alarms, and door images. What I want you to want, what I want you to feel, but it's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you to just believe this is real. With a lot of math and the speed of computers, ordinary pictures can give the illusion of being in a 3D environment. In this case, Douglas High School. The project itself is completely text-based, meaning that you have to type in the position and angles of every object in the code by hand. Even seemingly common stuff had to be created from scratch. I had to write the routines to keep you from walking through walls and to keep the camera on the correct location of you at all times. It's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you for once just to hear me out. So let go, watching you, turn your back like you always do. Face away and pretend that I'm not, but I'll be here because you're all that I got. The more of the school that is on at the same time, the slower the program runs. If you're down in the classroom wings, there's no reason for the gym or the shop hallways or even the cafeteria to be on since there's no way you could possibly see it anyway. Probably the most complicated part of my project happened without you even knowing it. It's a system I made to turn off unnecessary parts of the school. The hall triggers. When the triggers are in the right locations, the user cannot tell when pieces are being turned on and off. It gives it the effect of the entire school being on at all times. Normally you would never see the pieces like this. The point of my project is to allow students to find their classrooms before they enter the school itself. The classrooms are made of actual pictures. This saved a lot of time and made it really easy to add rooms. All the classroom pictures are organized and stored in their own folders so my program can find them. Each classroom folder has an information file that my program uses to display the correct teacher and the subject they teach. By keeping the information outside the program itself in various files, this little tool I made can access and update the information when new teachers are hired or classrooms move. It's pretty straightforward to use and it will allow my project to be updated for each new year. looking at my project. I'd say I put about five to six hundred hours of work into this thing over the last nine months. It helped get me into college and was responsible for getting me some serious scholarships. This project required me to use everything I knew and almost killed my computer multiple times. I'm looking forward to see where it goes in the future. Becoming.